Hi everyone, so I thought I'd start off our recipes for the year, because we're almost halfway through the year already, um, making Weasley's Dragon Roasted Nuts. Now, I know it's not actually written in the book, but it is located in Diagon Alley, outside Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. Um, so it's outside the shop, it's like a little dragon roasting vending machine, um, and I thought we'd make some today. So to make this, you're going to need half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of cumin, and then to give it that roasted dragon heat, you're going to need half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. Along with that, you're also going to need the egg white from just one egg. You're gonna do three teaspoons of brown sugar, one cup of almonds, and then I'll show you how to do the packaging to wrap this all up. So we're gonna start by mixing all our spices together. So I'll pop in the salt. So you're gonna pop all your spices into a little bowl here. And then you're gonna add in your one, two, and three of brown sugar. Just gonna stir all of these together till they're really mixed. Pour all your almonds in. So you can take your egg white and just start by pouring those over. Then you grab your fork and then just stir it completely so the egg whites are completely coating the almonds. All right, so with that all mixed, we're just gonna take this, sprinkle a little bit, keep turning, sprinkle. All right, with that all mixed, we're going to pop it onto a baking tray. those all out. So you're just going to keep spreading your almonds so they're um, well balanced all around the sheet. That way they're going to evenly bake. All right, and with that we're going to pop it into an oven that's been preheated to 120 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you're going to let it cook for just under an hour, so start checking around the 40 minute mark depending on what your oven is like. You can cook it higher, but you do run the risk of um, it burning if you aren't paying attention. So. I like to keep the temperature low and make sure that you're just checking from 40 minutes onwards. Now, I'm gonna pop this in. And then I'm going to quickly show you how to do the packaging. So when I say I'm gonna show you how to do the packaging, I've actually created it for you. So I've created the little printable. Um, it's available on the website. I'll pop a link below. Um, you just download it. Now, when you're printing them, all you need is brown paper lunch bags and a printer. My one concern when I'm running anything other than paper through like normal, just thin paper through the printer is that it's going to catch or something. So the reason why when you download my graphic, you're gonna see it upside down. It's that way for a reason because what you're going to want to do is you're gonna take, so say if a bag is open like this, this edge that's closed, that's what's gonna be going in first. So that way, when you print it, it comes out looking like this. And that way. So I've kind of done the hard work for you, trying to figure out how to get them to print properly without tearing or catching. Because it's firmer paper, like it's bound together, uh, the printers don't seem to freak out so much. If you went from the other edge, you might have more problems. Um, I'd also say um, set your printer, if you can, to borderless printing. Um, otherwise, you do get the lines. Um, and also set it to high quality. Um, again, everyone's printer is completely different, but mine, if I set it just to normal printing standards, um, I get colored lines. Set it to high quality, it's nice and clean. Um, so yeah, super simple to make, especially easy if you're wanting to do these for a party. It's like little favor bags. These are so easy just to pop out. The design's ready, the, the bags are cheap, you pop them together, ready to go. All right, with that, let's go check and see if our dragon roasted nuts are ready and we'll pop these in the bag and have a little taste test. Okay, so our dragon roasted nuts are out of the oven. I've already let these cool, which is why I've got it on the bench right now. Um, a few tips and tricks I forgot to mention as well. Um, probably halfway, I'd take a wooden spoon and just sort of give these a little bit of a toss just so they break apart. 
The other thing as well is make sure your spices are fresh um, because if they aren't, they aren't going to be having as much of a kick. Um, and thirdly, you know, if you really want a real fiery taste, add more cayenne pepper or chili powder in. So these ones. nice heat. I actually love even more of a kick, so I might add just a little bit more cayenne pepper next time, um, just so it has a real fiery heat to it. However, as um, a baseline, I would probably say start with this because not everyone, excuse me, not everyone can handle heat. And this is like just enough to have like that nice heat to it uh, without it being too, too much. So we're going to grab our little bags and we're going to pop a few in. Clean hands. And there you go. You've got your dragon roasted nuts for your Harry Potter party.